What's up everybody, Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I want to show you how to create your own custom export presets in Adobe Premiere Pro, which is going to help you streamline and automate your workflow. So let's get started here. If you check out what I've got going on here, I've got a small little project. Um, I was exploring the Natural History Museum in London the other day and I got some couple of sweet clips of a T-Rex that they've got down there. Check, check this out. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to export this and share it on my Twitter feed. And it's a short, uh, you know, just over 15 second video. So let me show you how I can export this and we'll create a preset that will help us automatically upload this to Twitter straight from within uh, Premiere Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and go File, Export Media, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command M. Now, here we have the export settings dialog box, which shows us a quick preview of the output and it gives us our export settings, which is there's a plethora of technical information here, which can be overwhelming for the newbie. Um, and if you aren't given, let's say you're working for a client and you aren't given the tech specs of what they want for their video, you're going to have to figure out what platform the videos are going to be shown on and you have to kind of take that information and figure out what your technical specifications of your export um, is going to be, which this is where presets come in handy. Now Premiere comes stock with a bunch of presets. Here we have our format, which is 8.264, which is, this is good for web video. Keeping This helps keep your uh, quality high of your exports and your file sizes small. And if you look here, we have all of these different um, presets set up, which will Again, if we, let's say our platform is um, an Apple TV or, or let's see here, we want to put this on YouTube. There's some YouTube presets, which if we select one of these, it's going to automatically set all of our settings down here to um, best fit that platform. So again, I said I wanted to export this for Twitter. So if we go down here, there's actually a Twitter. Uh, the, there's two Twitter presets here. So let's select a 720p one. We want to have this as high quality as possible. It's a short video. So now if you look here at our export settings, we have so we have our format and our preset selected. Here we can we can select where we want our file to save. This is just going to save to our desktop and that's the name of our clip. We want to export video and audio. And this gives us a quick summarization of what our source sequence and clip uh, contain, the tech specs of that, and then our output, how it's going to be um, our Twitter specifications here, 1280 by 720p, uh, 30 frames per second, and all the other information here. But let's, we're going to add a little bit of a modification here. I said I wanted it to automatically upload to Twitter. So if you go over here to the Publish tab, we can scroll down and find Twitter, which is right here. So let's select Twitter, and then I'm going to have to go ahead and log in. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and authorize. So it's uploading from Adobe Media Encoder. So I'm going to authorize this. Okay, now if you look here, there's our account. It's all logged in here. So now I can quickly add a status. Strolling around the Natural History Museum in London. Let's go ahead and add a hashtag here because we're too cool for school and I think it's Tuesday today yeah so I'm gonna add a travel Tuesday hashtag here where the heck there we go okay so we got our status set up now let's say we're gonna be in the next week we're gonna be editing a lot of these little clips that we want to share on our social media so as opposed to clicking this every time and adding this information in, we could create a custom preset. So let's go ahead and do that. If you go up here to preset, you can see that it switched from Twitter to custom. That's because we started to mess around and customize some of the settings here. So if you simply go over here and select save preset, it's going to bring up the, uh, the preset dialog box here. And we're going to call this preset Twitter upload. And so this is this will be the name of our preset. And I'm going to go ahead and select Save Publish Settings because this is the one customization I made here. 
So if we click OK, now if you see here in our preset, we have Twitter upload. And if you flip down the drop down menu, you're going to see our preset is here as well. So now we can go ahead and export this. And it's going to take care of everything for us. OK, so it exported there and should be uploading to Twitter. Before we go over to Twitter to check it out, let me just show you. If you go to Q, if you select here, it's going to add it to the Adobe Media Encoder. And as you can see here, it's going to, you see our preset here. And there's also a preset browser here, a little preset browser window. If you look, here is our, our uh, custom preset as well. Also, if you want to find your custom preset, on your local drive here, you just go to Adobe, Adobe Media Encoder, and then select version 11, and then go to Presets, and you'll see here, Twitter Upload. And now if we wanted to share this with other editors, we could simply copy this over to a drive and then give it to another editor, and then that editor could simply import it straight through the export settings dialog box. And if they import it straight from their desktop, it's going to copy and paste it right and put it in their presets folder. Okay, so now let's go check out my Twitter account and see if it worked out. Okay, one minute ago, strolling around the Natural History Museum in London, and here's our video. Have a listen. Super cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.